Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Now in this video I am going to discuss the remaining part of question number 5, exercise 5A. Okay. In the last uh, three parts A, B, C, we, do, uh, we have a coefficient of first term is 1. But here we have 3 as the coefficient of first term and 60 in the last term. So when we multiply this 3 with 60 what we will get? We will get 180 will find these factors okay okay now it's time to choose which factor gives the middle term okay the uh, uh, sign of last term gives a hint of addition here so we have to add these factors to get this middle term okay 90 plus 2 gives 92 so it is not 49 45 plus 4 gives 49 so we are going to take this pair of factor okay now I am going to split the middle term here write the first term and the last term same as given in the question and take this plus sign and the variable out from the bracket and inside the bracket add these factors 4 plus 45 okay then multiply this plus w inside the bracket what we will get 3w square plus 4w plus 45 plus 60 when you again add these two terms it will give 49w as I told you earlier uh, we have to make two pairs here and take common from these two pairs okay when we take common from this pair we can take only w as common so we take w as common here we are left with 3w and when we take w from this term um, as common we are left with 4 here common we can take 15 as common so 15 we are left with 3w here plus 4 here as these two brackets are exactly same so we have to write it just once and the other bracket will be made by these two terms so w plus 15 equals to 0 now apply the zero product property 3w plus 4 equals to 0 or w equals to uh, w plus 15 is also equals to 0 from this side we will get w equals to minus 4 upon 3 and from this side w is equals to plus 15 gives minus 15 so we have w equals to minus 4 upon 3 or minus 15 this is our answer for part, part e moving towards part f of question number 5 here we have 6 as the coefficient of first term and 20 in the last term. So when we multiply this 6 with 20 we will get 120 here and when we factorize 120 we will get these factors ok. So these are our possible pair of factors uh, as I have explained you how we make these pair of factors. We have to choose the pair of factor that adds up and gives 29. Uh, so. 60 plus 2 gives 62 so we can't choose this fact, pair of factor 15 plus 4 also gives 19 so uh, we have to move further 15 plus 8 gives 23 but we need here a 29 24 plus 5 is uh, gives 29 so we have to choose this pair of factor here to split the middle term in the solution 6x squared minus here we have a minus sign so we have to take this minus sign and x set outside the bracket and inside the bracket we have to add these two factors so 24 plus 5 okay then plus 20 equals to 0 now multiply this minus x inside the bracket we will get minus 24x and minus 5x plus 20 now make two pairs here and take common from these two pairs when we take common from this side we can take 6 and x as common 6x common so we are left with x here and minus 6 4 is a 24 4 here x has taken common outside the bracket from this side we can take minus 5 as common so minus 5 has taken as common and we are left with x minus 4 here. Take the same bracket once and the other bra bracket will be made by these two terms 
6x minus 5 equals to 0. Now equate both the factors with 0. So x minus 4 equals to 0 and 6x minus 5 is also equals to 0. From this side we will get x equals to 4 and from this side we will get x equals to plus 5 upon 6. So our answers are x equals to 4 or 5 upon 6. Now I am going to solve part g. So in this part we have to multiply 2 with 14. We will get 28. When we factorize 28 we are getting 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 7. So its possible factors are 2 multiplied by 14 is equals to 28 and 4 multiplied by 7 also gives 28. Okay. What we have to choose to split the middle term? We first we have to see the sign here. Here is a minus sign. So we have to choose a pair of factor that gives 3 when we subtract the factors. Okay. So always subtract the smaller number from the bigger number. So when we just subtract 2 from 14, we are left with 12. So it we can't choose this pair of factor when we subtract se, uh, 4 from 7 we get 3 so we have to choose this factor write 2z square minus and z has taken common and then subtract smaller number from bigger number always do this minus 14 equals to 0 okay then multiply this minus z inside the bracket so we will get minus 7z minus minus plus 4z then minus 14 equals to 0 make two pairs here first pair is this and second pair is this take common from this pair we can take z as common so we are left with 2z here and minus 7 here when we take common from this side we can take 2 as common plus 2 as common so we are left with 2z here and minus 7 write the same bracket once 2z minus 7 equal and make another bracket with these two terms so z plus 2 equals to 0 now apply the zero product property so 2z minus 7 equals to 0 and z plus 2 also equals to 0 from this side we will get z equals to 7 upon 2 and from this side we will get z equals to minus 2. z equals to 7 upon 2 or minus 2. These are our answer. You have to complete question number 5.